Hi, welcome to this uh, video deck, which is all about learning to trade Forex the right way. If you're a complete beginner, then the tips in this video will help you achieve success. Or if you're not achieving success at the moment, uh, the tips will help as well. Now, in terms of winning at Forex trading, uh, any trader who comes in the markets or who really wants to improve their trading skills and attitude to the markets, i.e. get the right psychology, should go and read one of the best books ever written on trading, which is called The Zurich Axioms by Max Gunther. Now, I have featured it in previous videos a few years back. And uh, yeah, it is one of the most highly rated books amongst serious traders. Yeah, yeah, most traders will not read it. The advice in the book can lead you to success because it's all against going with conventional investment wisdom and that's what most forex traders do they also believe a lot of myths and misconceptions about trading that are promoted online which if you believe them you are going to lose money now you can go and read the book the zurich axioms i'd strongly recommend it um, in this video i'm just going to go through some key points in terms of why it can help you achieve success and some of the axioms that you can use in your own trading to make consistent profits and also when I've finished um, with my summary I'm going to basically finish up with the best quotes from Max Gunther the author of the book which are really motivational just such great wisdom in the quotes now what we are going to do is we go to a storyboard I'm just going to go through the key axioms that can help lead you to trading success so let's go and take a look at them Right, let's have a look at uh, some tips from the Zurich Axioms. Now, the book itself by Max Gunther, uh, the axioms or rules of trading success come from his father, a rich Swiss banker, and his father's friends and associates. They're all multi-millionaires, and Max Gunther wrote them up in the book. And he's written a few books, actually. They're all really good. Um, axioms, easy book to read. It's funny, and it's just full of yeah, what I would call common sense investment advice. Now, in terms of the axioms, um, some of the key points that I've noted from them I've written down here, you must like risk and uncertainty to trade Forex. You must actually enjoy it, okay? Most traders come in with what I call a Sawyer trading mentality. They don't like risk and uncertainty, but they wanna make big money, okay, in Forex, um, which is just not gonna work. Because what most traders do is they'll come in and they'll want someone else to blame or credit for their trading success. But they normally end up blaming them. So they'll take a strategy from someone else or a tip. And then when it goes wrong, it wasn't their fault, of course. It was the person who gave them the tip of the strategy. No, it's not. It's their fault, isn't it? Um, but they can't accept it. So they want to blame someone else. You've got to be responsible for your actions okay you've got no hiding place in forex you're dealing with uncertainty and risk and your success or failure is determined by the money in your trading account nothing more there's no excuses to be made but yeah a lot of traders you know they get so upset when they lose money and they're coming with totally the wrong approach now in terms of forex you've got to see it as a kind of normal business with an overhead you're going to take a lot of losses like any business and i think once you see it as a normal business, you can get out of that get rich quick mentality. Okay, um, a normal business can have overheads, you know, staff, lighting, heating, tax, vehicles, whatever it might be. But on the other side, they're expecting their products and services to make them more money so they can pay their overhead and have a big profit. Same in forex trading. You can have numerous losses, that's your overhead, you just got to keep them small. And if you've got a trading edge your edge will prevail over the longer term. Now, it's very important that you have a trading edge. Um, you've got to know why you're going to win. If you don't know what your edge is over the majority, then you don't have an edge. You're going to lose, okay? So kind of see it as a normal business. You know, losses, you're going to get them in life, just as you are in Forex trading. And you know, in terms of Zurich Axioms, it's, it makes a great point, okay? If you don't take risks in life, this isn't just in Forex trading, if you don't take risks in life, you're probably going to lead a pretty dull life. Risk makes life fun and enjoyable. It gives you experience, okay? And you know, most Forex traders who are successful see it in that way, okay? They want risks, they like them, 
they see the challenge and that excites them. That's what I think the attitude should be of any Forex trader. Now, Forex is simple, but the paradox is it's not easy. Why? Because it's so simple. I like Zurich axioms, yeah, they talk about it in the book, or Max does, that yeah, people just want to overcomplicate things. They can't keep things simple. Yeah, it's very hard actually for most people to accept that trading is actually very simple, but you've actually got to do a little bit of thinking. But the little bit of thinking is just kind of, you just got to basically get away um, from the majority point of view and then you can win. Okay, I'll come back to that little bit of thinking in a moment. But uh, right education, uh, Forex charting, most beginners will go for charting. Uh, it has advantages. It it's, can be very helpful. Uh, technical analysis, but it's got severe limitations. Um, severe limitations. Um, the problem is you've got what is called in the uh, axioms, the historian's trap of prediction. And yeah, it says, you know, when you look at charts, it just looks orderly going backwards, doesn't it? But that order is just illusion. It's happened. It's been. Anyone can make sense of the chart when it's all gone by. But when you're going forward, it's a lot different because you don't know what's going to happen. And, you know, I've made this point on numerous occasions. Most of the technical analysis uh, taught online does not work in the real world. It doesn't. All the educators you see teaching these great strategies that predict can't trade. They don't do any trades. They won't give them. They just do it backwards or vague advice. Um, yeah, so you mustn't trust predictive strategies. Yeah, I think charts are useful um, to define areas of value, um, but you've got to have a knowledge of the fundamentals and sentiment behind the chart. If you don't, the chances of winning are pretty low in my view. Because the chart comes from the fundamentals and sentiment. It gives the chart context and it makes you um, keep your charting simple or it helps you keep your charting simple. If you ever look at our videos, we never complicate the chart. The technicals are extremely simple, but we'll do research on the fundamentals and sentiment, um, which is easy to do. Anyone can do it, okay? But um, yeah, charting, the idea of kind of set rules and mechanical trading just appeals to beginners because it gets them away from having to take responsibility uh, and thinking, if that makes sense. Now, in terms of trading frequently, go for big moves contrary to the majority. That's the advice in the axioms. And uh, it is a great way to trade. Um, you want those really big moves and you want to catch trades against the majority when you get really bullish or bearish extremes when everyone thinks yeah there's no end in sight to a move up or down you very often get a get a change and we do a lot of contrary trading obviously plenty of information on that in our playlist yeah you want to go for the big moves in forex um not the small moves you yeah, said this frequently if you go for small moves like yeah, 50 pips, 30 pips, 80 pips, whatever it might be, you're never going to get anywhere because you need a stop of at least 100 to cover the amount of losers you're going to take. Um, so go for the big moves, hundreds of pips, thousands of pips. They do come around these setups. So you don't need many in a year to make you a lot of money. Um, be mobile. Um, yeah, look for opportunities anywhere. Yeah, don't fall in love with a currency pair or don't look at too few. Um, yeah, just find the best opportunities around. Okay, I mentioned this in a video the other day, actually, which I think is probably just a couple back from this one, but uh, you're looking for those really standout opportunities and have set targets, okay? When you've got enough out of a trade, take it, be happy with what you've got and look for the next opportunity. A lot of traders, when they get a really big winning trade, they won't get out because they think they're going to be um, regretting if they do, if it carries on. Very often, when a trade made a lot of money for you, um, you get kind of in love with it and you just will see anything for it to keep going on. Uh, but very often, yeah, that leads to complacency. Then the trader gives back 
all their profit. So yeah, if you get what you want, move on to the next opportunity. There's always going to be opportunities coming around. Never personalize the market. Never get frustrated or angry with it. It's just there. OK, a lot of traders personalize it. You mustn't. It's just there. It's up to you to make money. Now, in terms of um, you know, learning in the real world, uh, you've got to learn in the real world and avoid wasting your time. Demo account trading, total waste of time. There's no money involved, so there's no pressure. So it's not difficult to do. OK, loads of people can make money in demo accounts. The majority of traders yeah. make money in demo accounts. But, you yeah, know, it's a waste of time because it's not the real experience. Bank testing, another complete waste of time. I've seen yeah, plenty of videos on back testing. OK, back test your strategy. What's the point of that? Forex markets are not predictable. OK, so you can back test to make a strategy work in hindsight, but bending the rules to fit the data. Then when you run it forward, it isn't going to work because markets are always changing. But back testing appeals to the mentality of your traders who want to see order codes to the market, scientific equations, all that sort of stuff. It doesn't work. Try it. And then if you did succeed on a back test, try it forward. You'll lose money. OK, uh, so don't waste your time with that. Risk money that impacts you a little. Um, don't come in with the attitude, I'm going to lose the money. I don't care if I do, because then you haven't got any pressure on you, have you? You want pressure on you that, you know, even if you lose, it hurts you a little bit. That will focus you on doing the right things. OK, so you're feeling the experience. You need to feel that experience of, you know, you're going to take a loss if you have to, but it's going to you know, hurt you just a little bit. I don't mean go crazy in terms of your risk exposure, but it should hurt a little bit because you're going to make mistakes. Mistakes are going to be made by any trader. What you got to do, learn from those mistakes, OK? Correct them straight away and appreciate you've got a bit of a learning curve to go through. I would say most traders, it would take them a good year to become sort of competent, confident traders. Yeah, you go to university for three years, don't you, to master a subject. A year in Forex trading, I don't think that's a long period of time. To master what is a great um, kind of business. Um, the axioms are all about basically standing on your own, not being frightened, believing you can do it, you know, trading is a lot simpler than most people make it out to be. But you have to think for yourself. You have to take responsibility for your actions. Today, in the markets, I think we've got you know, so much um, technology. Yeah, people feel safe with technology. Computer programs, back testing, numerous indicators, etc. It's an illusion. OK, Zurich Axioms you know, teaches you what investing and trading is all about. Um, yeah, it's really a, an old school kind of trading book. Uh, but that's no bad thing <laughs> compared to um, what is taught today in, in Forex trading, most of which doesn't work. OK, a great book, great advice, will help you learn Forex trading the right way. It'll also give you uh, a real boost if you're not making money um, and give you lots of different um, advice. I've just covered some of the advice here in terms of turning your trading around. Really motivational book. Right. That is the video for today. I'm going to play out with my favourite quotes from Max Gunther. Hope you enjoy them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching me as per usual. Take care. Have a good day.